Since rare 1955 Lincoln cent was sold in 2023 for $28,800. The popular double die obverse variety representative. Most examples of the 1955 double die obverse scent were discovered in New England soon after they were released. Estimates suggest a mintage of 24,000 coins and a survival in the range of 3,000 to 4,000 coins. The dramatic obverse doubling led to quick discovery of the variety that has been listed in guidebook of United States coins for many years. Despite the substantial population, relatively few survive with full red mint color. This impressive choice mint state example has brilliant and highly lustrous orange surfaces with bold detail and minimal grade limiting marks or spots. This is 1909 SVDB Lincoln sent in mint state 66 plus. These issues mintage of 408 to 4,000 pieces is by far the lowest in the series, a distinction that was recognized from the beginning of the Lincoln Sense debut. And a chief driver behind this issue claiming key date status despite moderately high availability in most grades. The other aspect of its popularity is Victor D. Brenner's initials near the reverse rim at 6 o'clock. The sculpture's initials were removed from the hub shortly after coinage began, and when they were replaced in 1918, they were placed on a verse at the bottom edge of the Lincoln's portrait. These plus graded premium gem displays rich orange gold luster and a sharp strike with beautifully preserved surfaces. CEC endorsement is rarely seen at this grade level. Sold for $27,600. Moving on to the 1901 Barber Quarter in circulated condition, graded as extremely fine 45 by PCGS. Despite modest wear, this coin retains strong luster and shows few marks. Light silver blue toning embraces much of each side, while the margins show glimpses of green gold as well. Sold on January 12, 2023 for $24,399.60 at Heritage Auctions. Next, 1950 Roosevelt Diamond PR68 Deep Cameo Condition. This is a marvelously preserved superb gem dime that exhibits profound contrast between frosted white devices and endlessly reflective fields on each side, fully struck on every design element with pristine surfaces that are thoroughly toned, sold for $18,800 at Heritage Auctions. Here is 1941 Washington Quarter in Mint State 68. This magnificent piece is backed by CEC Green Label, testifying to its outstanding eye appeal. Deep reddish-brown orange and gold peripheral toning seeds to intensely lustrous, yet subtle frosted silver centers. While the design features are a tad short of full strike, most of Washington's hair and eagle's breast features are well defined. Both sides are immaculately preserved. It ended up selling for $18,800. This is 1959 Lincoln Cent in Mint State 67 Plus Red. The coin is sharply struck from fresh dyes with beautiful, carbon free surfaces. Copper, orange, and rubber red hues blend over each side, creating an incredible eye appeal. It was sold for $1,540 at Heritage Auctions. Jumping onto this 1963 D nickel in Mint State 65 with full steps, whereas the 1963 D Jefferson nickel is plentiful without full steps. This is rare in any grade with them. Both sides of this gem are brilliant nickel gray with scintillating satin luster. Most importantly, the steps of Monticello are completely delineated. It ended up selling for $3,360. And this is 1983 proof Roosevelt time in PR70 deep cameo condition, highly sought after missing S meat mark variety. Sickly frosted, fully struck motifs stand out dramatically against the jet black fields. Each side of this 1983 Noah's dime is completely devoid of contact. The variety is well known to the series specialists and listed among the 100 greatest US modern coins, according to Scott Schechter and Jeff Garrett. It was sold for $8,225 at Heritage Auctions.